Someone has done a great job of designing this IPVO. This is the IPVO Ducam, and it's not replacing, but it's now available alongside this. This is the V4K, and this is a great visualizer, as is shown by how popular it's been since all the school closures. And actually, it's really hard to get, well, either of these at the moment, but well, should you buy this, the V4K, or this, the IPVO Ducam? Well, there's a couple of things you need to know about the difference, but really, this, I'm already sold, this is the visualizer you want. This is the IPVO Ducam. I'm sure it's going to be really popular, so make sure you get your order in soon. I know myself and a lot of teachers, we're going to be moving around from classroom to classroom, so I want to look at how easy that is to actually set up in any classroom today. So I'm going to try and use it alongside a laptop rather than on my desktop beforehand. I think this year, more than any other, portability is going to be so important in our technology and education. Thanks to IPVO for making this video possible. IPVO, they make the highest quality and also the easiest to use visualizers that are available. This is just 335 grams or 0.74 pounds and it is about the size of a pencil case. It just slips in your laptop bag and you don't need to think about whether or not you're going to carry it. It's a much neater package than this, the V4K. But there are a couple of things that are missing from the Ducam compared to the V4K. It doesn't have a microphone, it doesn't have a manual focus button, and it doesn't have a single to continuous autofocus mode switcher. Now what essentially that does, this is the continuous mode, is that it's constantly trying to work out whether it's in focus or not, and so you get this hunting as you write sometimes, and it's not the most pleasing thing. So you can just very easily on the V4K switch over to the single autofocus mode, and it should stay pretty sharply on the focus that you've set, which if you're just looking at showing a page, that's what you're going to want. It is totally possible to switch between single and continuous autofocus mode though on the DoCam. You just need to use that via the IPVO Visualizer software. And also in the IPVO Visualizer software, you can use the manual focus lock button. And I recommend that you do do that whenever you're writing live on a document. It also doesn't have the microphone, so I really recommend pairing it with something like a USB-C microphone for your laptop. But what it does have is a little button on the side for a selfie mode. So it does have this little yellow button, this one button on the do cam, which switches it between document camera mode, so it's pointing down, or selfie mode, but then you can actually use it as a webcam. And importantly, it's then a webcam that you can position rather than the one on your laptop that's just kind of pointing always up your nose. <laughs> So I think that's a really useful thing. It's got a slightly different use. And then you, you can use the microphones on board the computer, or you can plug in an external microphone into the computer and use that. So I think this is a really useful thing for live streaming on the go. And for me as a science teacher, having the ability to go from that top-down view to the vertical view and be able to show the demonstration that I'm trying to show on my videos or on my live streams is going to be a really useful thing from this camera. There's a bit of advice that I want to tell you. I'm filming this currently just in front of a big window because cameras like lots of light. So when you do use your DoCam or your V4K, make sure you get the very most out of them by filming near a window or with as many lights as you can. Not just one light because then you get those harsh shadows and they don't tend to look good when you're working. I want to see just how easy this is to get set up. I've got my laptop, I've got my DoCam, I've just walked into the classroom and there's the monitor and I'm going to see how long it takes me to actually get this set up. For this test I was logged into my laptop but I didn't have the IPVO software actually booted up. So all I've done is plug in the HDMI, plug in the USB for the visualizer, it's all auto opened and there it is, it's on screen. So it really is just laptop, visualizer and then teach. So 30 seconds, that's not bad. And I've even had time to focus my camera. And well there you are, <laughs> it's already showing the document. That's all screen. That's pretty quick. This shows you just how easy it is to use that selfie mode that I talked about, that single button to flip the screen. Pointing out for me that is a much nicer shot than the webcam shot on my laptop if I switch to that. See that's an unflattering up the nose kind of shot. So that's going to be a really great thing if you haven't seen any video conferencing. Just one button flips between it being a webcam or being a visualizer. I think this DoCam has a place in every teacher's laptop bag. I think that you do want the HDMI visualizer, or stand by that if you're gonna leave a visualizer in place. It's great to be able to not have to worry about setting up the laptop and just go straight one button on the, on the monitor and you can switch to the visualizer from the HDMI input. But 
this is a great option if you know you're going to be moving around as you saw it doesn't take long to plug that in and switch on the visualizer software and you're instantly displaying your documents to the class there's a real noticeable difference in how heavy they are i mean this has a really stable base because of the nice heavy stable base they've given it however that makes it a bit less portable this however still has a stable base because it's a much longer and it is heavy compared to the rest of the visualizer it still is a nice stable base but it does weigh a lot less than the v4k so that flip button is actually a hardware button it does mean that it's inside the camera inside the software of the camera rather than whatever camera app you're using is actually flipping the image that's sending out to the usb and then to the computer so you don't need to worry about using the visualizer app all the time for that if you're using obs or if you're using the camera app whatever you need to use to record your videos or, or stream your videos you can still use that flip mode to turn it into a webcam or into a visualizer I use IPRO document cameras because of their excellent build quality and because of the seamless integration into the e-learning apps that I want to use. My kids get loads of benefit from seeing me model how to actually do the exam questions on the board or indeed stream them out in my e-learning videos and resources. I can record and broadcast demos without having to think twice about setting up the cameras, it just takes so little time. And I just love the way that they look and feel on my desk and in my bag, uh, I think they're excellent designs. They are the leading document camera manufacturer for a really good reason and uh, I think they're excellent quality and I do recommend them to you. Thanks again IPVO for sponsoring this video. And if you've enjoyed watching these videos, these latest batch of videos on education tech products then let me know and be sure to subscribe. And if you're just waiting for me to get on to talk about physics again then stick around because September's coming soon and there'll be loads of physics videos coming your way.